friends, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be creating this square card that you see on the screen here. I'm going to be using a bunch of products from that brand new Autumn Splendor collection. I'm starting off here to, by showing you the Lovely Layers Sunflower die set. It is so much fun. I love it. And this will give you these beautiful cuts here to create the most lovely layered sunflower it is really really gorgeous and i'm just showing you here all of the little cuts on some white cardstock i'm actually going to cut this again from some mixed media paper and then put the pieces into my splat box i'm going to spray them with the different mica stains that are brand new from the distress line from tim holtz and ranger so i use started off with the flickering candle now i'm going to be using the bubbling cauldron and then lastly the crooked broomstick so this is going to give me the yellows for the sunflower the greens for the leaf leaves and the brown for the center so here you can just see the sunflower here i want to show you how to line these up now you'll notice that all of the layers that have the etching on them show and so this will help you the etched layers layer over top of the non-etched layers and then those sections um, are the same shape as well so it's actually really really super easy to line these up and I'm going to layer each different layer with a little bit of foam adhesive so you can just see the little foam squares that are on my project and here I'm just showing you again layering the etched pieces over the non etched pieces and also going by the shapes as well to help me and here I've layered all of the different layers of this die set and these die cut pieces with foam adhesive. Now I'm also going to be using the brand new sweet stack circles. I'm going to be using the two largest circles from that die set. The largest one I cut from, from some brown cardstock and then I use this plaid from Autumn Afternoon which I absolutely love. It's like a little tiny gingham check. Love it so much. And then I cut a square piece piece of cardstock or pa pattern paper I should say from Fresh Brood and this one kind of looks like a jute paper or something like that it's really really cool now for this plaid I actually sewed with my sewing machine a, a perimeter stitching around the edge and my card base is a white piece of cardstock cut to a five by five and so this is a five inch square card and here you can see all the layers of paper so this is kind of the design I'm going for and my sentiment's going to go in that area I'm showing you there. I'm going to take a piece of white cardstock into my mini misty. I'm treating that with my anti-static powder tool and I'm going to heat emboss my sentiment. Now the sentiment that I'm using here is from the thinking of you big time uh, sentiment set. This is brand new with autumn splendor as well. I'm going to stamp out the hello sentiment with some Versamark ink onto that white cardstock and then go ahead and put some gold embossing powder over top of that. So once I've got the embossing powder onto that uh, clear Versamark ink, I'm now going to take that to my heat tool and melt the gold embossing powder just for this really beautiful gold sentiment. I've die cut that out with the coordinating die for the thinking of you big time set and now I'm taking some hot tropics gem stickers and I'm going to just put a few of these gems I think I end up putting five of these gems around the card in a diagonal pattern from the top left corner down to the bottom right now I'm also going to use that inside sentiment set thankful sentiments this is a fantastic sentiment set for the insides of your cards there's a coordinating die set as well which is also really awesome and there's actually lots of different sentiments there that you could use for the front of a card as well my card is all finished I absolutely love how this turned out I hope you do too I've linked up to all of the products that I've used for this project in the description box below thank you so much for joining me today have an amazing day friends and I'll see you next Friday. Bye bye.